John? It will. It's not a word. <laughs> anyway, uh, I work on Bay Street, guys. You automatically hate me? No, I work on Bay Street, and now this time of year is very tough, right? Because it gets very cold, and we've got a little, obviously a very bad homeless population in Toronto, right? We have a very bad homeless problem. And some of these Bay Street guys aren't cool about it, like they're a bit elitist about it, and they kind of make fun of them. And I don't like that, I don't like people to make fun of them, but you ever do it by accident? Like, I don't watch any sports, right? Like, I'm not a fan of sports. Like, I don't watch hockey or any of this stuff, and uh, that might lose me some friends tonight, but I'm not really down with sports, you know? And like, like the other day, there was this big sports game on, and I, uh, I was walking down the street, and this homeless guy came up to me, and he goes, uh, hey buddy, who's winning? And uh, because I don't watch sports, I forgot there was a game on, and uh, I thought he meant just between me and him. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, buddy, uh, I don't know you, but I'm gonna guess it's uh, me. Because, uh, my pants are made of denim, and yours are made of hair. So, uh, I can tell you, it's awkward in the city sometimes. It's so fun. You guys are enjoying yourself, that's cool, that's good to see. I am down with enjoyment. I was going to say I like enjoyment a lot, uh, rather into enjoyment, but it, enjoyment's cool because like, but it's, it's an interesting kind of thing because it's like, not everyone like really can have it at the same time, you know what I mean? It seems like almost finite, like we're all here having a good time, but then people in Iraq aren't. <laughs> Who laughed at that? Uh, no man, like enjoyment, there's never really, like you can go to a party and like, you know, like a, You'll be having a lot of fun, and there'll always be that one guy sitting in this corner, like, with his arms crossed, and I'm like, you are, man. And, uh, you go up to him, and you're like, hey, buddy, you having a good time? And they're like, no, I gotta wait for my buddy to finish having a good time, and then uh, I'm up to that. <laughs> so, so, that's why I like to deliberately ruin people's evenings. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Uh, but just so I can make sure there's enough fun for me, you know what I mean? Like, I like to go to the opera and sing along. <laughs> Like that. I like to go walk my dog with a big sign around my neck that says, look, just because I'm walking my dog, it doesn't mean I want to talk to you. Okay? Yeah, I know my dog is cute. That's why I keep it alive. All right? Like, if you tell me it's cute one more time, I'm going to drown it. In front of a kindergarten class. Using big trash bags full of even cuter dogs to drag it down to the bottom of the cold, unforgiving sea. <laughs> That weirds people out, or you can just say, uh, hey, you think he's cute now, you should see him when he's shit. <laughs> and you lose friends that way too, so. I don't know, there's, I was away last year, I lived overseas in, in uh, Australia. You guys, are, you guys familiar with Australia at all? You know kind of what's going down over there? The talk was weird, and they're kind of racist. <laughs> I'm serious. No, they, they talk very strangely over there. Like, they, their slang is not even so much kind of slang as just a bunch of swear words put together. <laughs> Can't be fucked in the fucking shit, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, sweaty dick. Uh, can you say that in English? Yeah, sorry, here's your change, Mike. Still can't understand you, so. It's like, uh, weird. No, I lived overseas, and last year, unfortunately, in Toronto, there was quite uh, a lot of violence, there was a lot of uh, uh, shootings, and uh, the only good thing about me not being here is that no one can really say it was me, but, uh, um, easy, guys. Uh, but yeah, like when I got back, like you know, I heard about all this stuff, and, and it was a time where everyone's kind of looking to like, you know, to get advice for the kids, right? No one knows, knows what to do about it, so they want you to give advice to these teenagers. And they look at me, to, like you know, people like me, like successful, you know, like white grabbers in their twenties. <laughs> they're like, kind of like, yeah, you know, give us. Like, but I, it put me in a weird position because I'm kind of like advice. Like, I don't have any good advice. Like, look at me, I have no good advice, son. If you ever want your armpits lip clinging, have sex with a closet lesbian. See, it's gross. I've lost more friends because of that. It doesn't really make more sense. Makes sense you know? Son, bad breath is better than no breath. Son, love is like a chainsaw wielding grizzly bear. Now you may be wondering, why does it need a chainsaw when it's already got those big grizzly claws? Well, that's love's logic, son. It can never hurt you enough. <laughs> That's all I can do for advice, folks. I live in the beaches, and I grew up in the beaches. Rather, you guys uh, familiar with that area? 
very middle class kind of Woo! nice. Yeah, rock and roll. I didn't know people from the beach were that going. Nice to see. Uh, no, it's very weird. Yeah, well, you get like it's it's got these yuppie parents, right? The problem with yuppie parents is you get really well dressed children, and like nothing's more depressing than seeing a toddler who looks like he makes more money than you. <laughs> Heartbreaking area to get from. You see little kids with cargo pants on. Cargo pants, I know they're stylish, but what does a five-year-old have to carry in his cargo pants? His sense of bewilderment? <laughs> or dead pigeons is probably more like that. The only reason you put cargo pants on your kids is because you want them to carry all your change for you. Okay? Don't lie to me, dude. Like, no, they dress their kids up ridiculously well. And like, I think the only thing that stops them from like dressing their kids in tuxedos is like the very valid concern that the kid might get mistaken for a penguin and kind of cart it off to a zoo. And anyone who's ever seen Batman Returns knows that even though it's you know a child being raised by penguins is a cute image. <laughs> Ends in bloodshed, doesn't it? Catwoman gets involved and uh, you know. Incidentally, uh, as a side note, you're all familiar with Catwoman, obviously. Uh, how good would it be if instead of like uh, uh, being like a woman who acts like a cat, uh, she was just a bunch of cats stuffed into a woman's suit? <laughs> Catwoman, anti-hero or a suit full of squashed cats? Are you the judge? There's a lot of weird words we use like in our society. Uh, we, we, we get away with using some words that are kind of strange. It's always really weird to me, like the word wigger. You guys familiar with this word wigger? Guys, you probably, yeah, you've probably been called it before. Guys, like, wigger. Like, I can't even believe I'm allowed to say this on stage. Like, only in, in the world that is so obsessed with multitasking can we come up with a word that's racist twice. <laughs> Wigger. First of all, it's racist because it insinuates that wearing big clothes and being a prick is black culture. <laughs> and secondly, it's racist because it's the word wigger. <laughs> What's wrong with African Wanadian? <laughs> I, I take it you guys all practice safe sex. Woo! Put your hands. I want to put them in the uh, Of course, into the drink. Uh, yes. Hey, guys, the only reason why I'm saying this shit is because it makes it physically impossible for me to be out there listening to it. Uh, anyway, I got a buddy who's like upset. He's like really nervous about buying condoms. He's nervous. I'm like, why are you nervous about buying condoms, man? That means you're getting laid. You know what I mean? I'm embarrassed to buy toilet paper. I don't think I really come across as the kind of guy with the wherewithal to buy that shit before he runs out. Let's just say my now magazine's missing a couple of pages from it. From the theater section, of course. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I've been my cheer. Take care.